Gopher football starts next month, September 1st, if you can believe it, when Minnesota plays host to New Mexico State here at TCF Bank Stadium. So to get ready, I talked to two Golden Gophers and their Minnesota maid. We have Holy Family's Axel Rushmeyer, who you will see at left guard for this year's team, and also Lakeville North's Clay Geary, who you'll see flanked out on the edge as a wide receiver. In these conversations, we talk about their journey to the Gophers, their combined 12 years of experience in the program. We get in a little bit of Coach P.J. Fleck and also what they expect in the 2023 season. So without further ado, here's a condensed version of those conversations. There was really no decision. I mean, my dream was to play for the Gophers. I wasn't really planning on playing college ball. Mm. And when Fleck and his staff were hired here, I was contacted by uh, Matt Simon, and he asked me if I wanted to play, and it was maybe a second, two seconds before I said yes. I mean, I've grown up a Gopher fan my entire life, and when I had the opportunity to walk on here, I took it. Uh, my dad played here, uh, my little brother plays here now, and it's just, I grew up here, I watched Gopher football every Saturday, I went to games whenever I could. It's just, there's no experience like it, being from this state, you gotta know it, you gotta be here to know it, you know. I'm curious when you're, you know, got your grandkid on your lap, what will you tell them about Coach Fleck? What what will stick with you about him and playing underneath him all these years? A lot of people see someone who has the energy that he does and the bring it every day that he does, which he absolutely does. But the thing that'll stick with me the most is I've never met someone aside from my father who will push me every single day and not let me reach the standard that I'm able to achieve. He's the same person you see on TV as he is with the team. He brings the same amount of energy every single day. And so, you know, for me, a future father, hopefully, um, you know, that, that's something that I want to pass on to my kids, just being able to, you know, show them what consistency looks like so that you can you know, develop trust and character and all those sorts of things that go far beyond, you know, the game of football. The best leader I've ever seen and someone that just there's no one that compares to him in terms of making sure you do what you're capable of doing. Fans that are excited about this year, what might surprise us about this year's team? Whether, you know, a breakout player, a different scheme, something. What What's excited you guys so far during your training? What, what are you kind of jacked up about? I don't know if there's a different, uh, you know, style of play or anything like that, but I think the team is just has a deeper bond. I'm most excited to watch how hard everybody plays. I've been here six years, so I think I have a little bit of a little bit of street cred, and I think <laughs> that this is the hardest I've seen a team work every single day. There's guys. I mean, everybody's tired right now. We're right in the middle of training camp right now, and guys are flying off the walls. So practices. These are some of the hardest practices I've ever been a part of in six years, and that's a good thing. I think it's really going to show on the field, and I think you're going to see guys playing for something than more than just themselves. What advice do you give to the kid in elementary school, high school, that's grinding, busting his butt, and that just wants to play for the Gophers, but you know maybe isn't getting offers, hasn't gotten contacted? What do you tell the kid that wants to have a story like yours someday? What I would tell someone who was in my shoes back in the day, I would say just trust the process. I know it's cliche, but... Trust what you're doing, it's gonna work out in the end. As long as you're working hard, you love the game, you're putting everything you can into it, it's, everything's gonna fall into place, I promise you. I would say grit. Understand what, what grit is and what that looks like on and off the field. Being able to you know, grow through adversity and have that mindset that no matter what situation you're in, what circumstance you face, you know, you're willing to grow through it. Because um, obviously we all face trials in life, we all have ups and downs, I mean, the ability to grow through that no matter the circumstances is definitely the biggest thing. 